Welcome to Football Manager 2017, my Wigan game in the year 2035. This time I am away to Man City. This is my sixth game in the Premier League. And, well, I guess the actual game. Yes, when it gets the actual game, keep clicking continue until it actually gets there, you'll see Man City are horribly down in 12th which is technically two places below me, but it's only five games into the season. And to be honest, I'm expecting to be slaughtered here. I can't think of a way that I've got a chance of winning this. In fact, I don't think I've got a hope in Hades. To be perfectly honest. Oh good, now Richard James is back to being fit enough to play so he can go back in my team. And the man I just dropped, Di Thomas, can go on the bench in place of Kieran Whitaker. Beyond that, Robbie Byrne did a good enough job. My team did a good enough job. I need better players yes, in the central midfield area, the right, right wing back and two of the central defenders for certain. But this is as good as I've got, so this is what I've got to play with. Now apparently they've got a guy named something like David Vass, who everybody reckons is going to walk all over me, which truly wouldn't surprise me. Apart from the fact I can't see him in their starting lineup. So apparently David Vass is not going to walk all over me. Because he's not on the field, he's on the bench. Dave Vass, or Vase. Dave Vase, we'll call him Vase. But yes, he's 24 years old, he's a Belgian striker, and just looking at his stats, he far outclasses anybody in my team, and he's on their bench. So God only knows how good the rest of their team are. Yes, let's give the fans a good performance because, well, that's an impressive looking stadium. But yes, let's give the fans a good performance because we're going to get slaughtered. If I can hold it down to 4-0, I will be surprised. I, won't, I was going to say I'd be happy, but I won't be happy if I lose 4-0. But I will be surprised if I only lose 4-0. Well, two minutes in and I'm not losing. That's always a bonus. Well, I must say, I'm kind of surprised that Pep's still in it. Pep Guardiola is a still in a job at Man City. This this many years into playing. Well, it took them three minutes to score that goal. But equally, I'm surprised he survived being in currently 12th in the league, or he was before this game started. Because being 12th in the league with Man City is the type of thing that would get you fired in reality. Five minutes in, I've actually got the ball. It's always something. Oh, a beautiful shot there, Chamberlain. It was only 10 yards wide and high. And that's probably about as close as I'm going to get to being on target all game, I imagine. I literally, I imagine one of their strikers is probably being paid as much as my whole team. Okay, got closer than 10 yards wide with that shot. I've known worse situations to be in. 1-0 down with the ball. 
<laughs> Chamberlain has done a good, good job of missing badly. Okay, Smith came for that ball and actually got there. That makes a rare change. And Chamberlain left the ball behind. Yep, that one was five yards wide. We're getting closer. Chamberlain actually hit the target. It's a miracle. It's a good through ball. But I'm amazed Chamberlain actually hit the target, let alone actually beat the keeper. But now I imagine having scored... I will be under pressure until they get a second goal. I did say I, I would be unsurprised if I lost 4 0. Well, I will be unsurprised if I lose 4 1. But it's nice to the fact I've actually scored. I have no real expectations of being able to hold this. Heck, I've got no real expectation of going into half time with it in a in a situation where I'm not losing. Okay. Yes, I am pleased with how things are going. Keep playing. I'm not going to substitute any of you because, well, you've exceeded my expectations so far. So why would I take you off the pitch if you're exceeding my expectations? Even if Wedderburn and Mills aren't rating very highly. Lee Harwood wants to come off. Well, kind of tough, really. I don't have anybody to replace you with. I'm actually consider a decent replacement. Yeah, impressive free kick. Wedderburn, high and wide. Oh, OK. I think the Man City player fell over the ball there. And yet they still managed to get it back and attack. Whoa, great shot. Yes. Oh, okay, I survived that. But last game I got 25,000 into my ground. They get 61,000 in theirs. It makes a bit of difference to your financial well-being, those extra... What is it? 30, 36,000 people. Well, they're putting on substitutes. I'll give them that. My guys are getting a tad worn down, but somehow we're not losing yet. Their yeah, goalkeeper making idiotic mistakes there. You don't come for a ball like that unless you're guaranteed to get it. Ah, oh well, at least where to burn that one wasn't high and wide, it was just high. 
guys. I think it's my turn to put on substitutes. Way to burn, you're not playing well. I know Jack Mills isn't playing well, but we'll take off the man who's got the yellow card. Oh, OK, one of the men who've got the yellow card, because another one just got one as I, as I was making substitutions. Yikes, that hit the bar. Oh, OK, oh, he got to the ball, my young Spanish kitty. Lousy shot, but he got to the ball. The more times we can hold on to the ball or take some time with the ball. Yikes, that was close. Yeah, the more time we can hold on to the ball and take time with the ball, the better. As it currently stands, I'm, no, I'm technically in a position to get a point here. I don't imagine that's going to actually happen. Oh! Oh! Yeah. I thought I was going to give away a penalty for the first guy that went down in the box. That guy right there. I figured James had about given away a nice penalty for them. But they didn't need the penalty shout because they scored anyway. Okay, my young Spanish kitty again. Oh, at least he got that one on target and forced the goalkeeper to save it. That's a heck of a long name for a goalkeeper. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the Man City goalkeeper's name. It's Donna something or other. Great, three minutes of added time, so they can score a couple more goals. Unlucky, I'm starting to actually quite like my young Spanish guy, I'll just call him Rock, because I'm not going to try to pronounce his whole name and, and ruin it. He didn't have a bad game as far as I could see from the time he was on the field. Yes, I really can't fault them for that one. We did put up a good fight, a far better fight than I was expecting to put up, I must admit. Okay. Well, that was the wonders of Wigan away to Man City and a creditable 2-1 credible loss. As always, I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you down the road.